there's something big happening inside Samsung software labs right now and barely anyone's talking about it. Hidden behind closed doors, a brand new version of One UI has quietly started testing and the leaks are painting a seriously exciting picture. We're talking about One UI 8.5, Samsung's next big leap in personalization design and AI powered features, the wild part. It's already running internally on multiple devices, including the Galaxy S24 lineup. Yes, not just future flagships like the S25 or S26, Samsung's current phones are already being tested with this major update. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sam here. And if you enjoy staying ahead of every Samsung update before it even goes public, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit like, share this video with your tech buddies and subscribe for more updates that make sense of every leak before it drops. Now, let's dive in because One UI 8.5 is shaping up to be one of the most creative, playful, and surprisingly smart updates Samsung's ever released. The first internal builds of One UI 8.5 have already appeared online with firmware version S9 Tweezix B X U9 DA running on the Galaxy S24 Plus. That's a huge deal. It means Samsung has officially started optimizing 8.5 for current generation hardware, not just the next gen flagships. Typically, this kind of testing doesn't happen until right before launch, but Samsung seems to be accelerating everything this year. Maybe because the Galaxy S26 series, which will ship with One UI 8.5 pre-installed, is set to debut early next year, and Samsung wants this update rock solid by then. But let's talk about the fun part, the features. One of the standout upgrades this time around is the all new adaptive clock for the home screen. Now, this isn't your ordinary time widget. It's an AI enhanced clock that literally reacts to your wallpaper. Change your background to a photo of your dog and the clock gently moves aside to keep the focus on their face. Switch to a city skyline and the font subtly resizes and shifts to blend perfectly with the horizon. It's small, but visually it's stunning the kind of feature that makes your phone feel alive every time you unlock it. Previously, the dynamic lock screen clock only worked with portrait wallpapers, but now with One UI 8.5, you can use it with any image, landscape, abstract, nature. It adapts beautifully, and that new frosted glass look Samsung is testing. It's sleek, soft, and somehow futuristic yet minimal. Even the floating search bar got a visual refresh, hovering elegantly near the center instead of sticking to the top like before. It gives the entire interface a modern, breathable look, something that feels distinctly Galaxy. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. In this leaked internal build, identified as CYJS7, Samsung has quietly integrated a black status bar, likely as part of a new visual consistency experiment. It may not sound like much, but it gives the interface a cinematic, contrast-heavy feel, especially on AMOLED screens. You know that premium look that makes the icons almost glow? Yeah, that. Whether this design makes it to the final release or not, it shows Samsung's trying to make One UI feel even more refined and high-end. And that's not all. Tucked inside the Samsung briefing app, testers have discovered something totally unexpected, Google's Nano Banana image generation tool. It's basically an early sign that deeper AI integration is coming to One UI. Imagine generating wallpapers, editing photos, or even creating stylized themes using built-in AI without needing any third-party apps. That's the level of integration Samsung seems to be aiming for, AI tools that enhance creativity while staying seamlessly inside the One UI ecosystem. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 has already joined the internal test circle. This is rare, usually foldables get new software after the main S series devices. But this time, Samsung's testing everything side by side, which means the company is preparing a synchronized rollout. If all goes as planned, the public beta for One UI 8.5 could go live by late November, likely starting with the Galaxy S25 and Fold 7 before gradually reaching others. Once you see firmware versions switching from B to Z, that's your green light. The beta has officially begun. One UI 8.5 isn't just about new visuals though. Reports hint at deeper system level improvements. We're talking smoother animations, smarter multitasking, and new privacy modes. One rumored addition is a smart screen dimming feature that automatically blurs or hides sensitive content if the phone detects you're in a public space. Think of it as a digital privacy shield, no more awkward moments of someone glancing at your messages while you're on the bus. Another leak points to Samsung experimenting with an automated call screening system similar to Google's Pixel feature. If that makes it into the stable version, 
You could soon let your Galaxy answer spam or unknown calls automatically and transcribe the conversation for you. Combine that with Samsung's ongoing AI push, and suddenly, the phone feels more like a proactive assistant than a passive tool. And while we're on the subject of design, Samsung has been tweaking the iconography, transitions, and overall UI flow to feel lighter and more fluid. It's subtle, but if you've used one UI for years, you'll feel it instantly. App openings are smoother, widgets load faster, and those tiny animations, like the bounce when you swipe up the app drawer, have been retuned to feel more natural. It's all about micro interactions that make the software feel polished. Of course, not everything is perfect. These early test builds are notoriously buggy. Some users who flash them privately have reported random reboots and UI glitches. That's totally expected in pre-release firmware. But it's also proof that Samsung is in deep development mode, which usually means we're only a few weeks away from official announcements or beta sign-ups. The internal builds are already advancing faster than expected, suggesting the company's preparing for a December reveal or an early 2026 stable rollout. So to sum it up, One UI 8.5 isn't just another mid-year update. It's Samsung's statement that customization, creativity, and intelligence can co-exist without feeling overwhelming. From the adaptive clock and dynamic lock screen to the sleek floating search bar and upcoming AI tools, everything points toward a future where your Galaxy phone doesn't just respond to you. It adapts to your mood, your style, and your world. Every wallpaper, every touch, every glance feels a little more personal. And honestly, that's what makes One UI so special. It's not just about specs or speed anymore. It's about personality. Even something as simple as checking the time feels fresh again. So yeah, One UI 8.5 might not be official yet, but one thing's for sure. The next few months are going to be very exciting for Galaxy fans. That's it for today's deep dive. As always, I'll keep you posted on every new leak, hidden feature, and rollout detail as soon as it drops. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the curve. And trust me, the next update is one you don't want to miss. Until then, this is Sam signing off. See you in the next one.